here's a follow-up video to my RF433 transmit and receive modules for the Arduino microcontrollers. I've got a Nano in the background that's transmitting right there. And here we have an Uno that is receiving. And it's pretty cool. I've got two different strings of messages here that are being sent by the transmitter. And you can see in close proximity that they're picking up really well together. Now, what I'm going to do is we're going to go on a little trip here and actually see how far this um, picks up. All right, I've just walked outside here, and you can see I'm still, I'm about 30, 40, probably 35 feet outside of my building. Right. About, oh wait, there we go, out of range. See that? Out of range. I'm a good 40 feet away from the... Uh, transmitter. That is pretty impressive with this very small 17 uh, centimeter copper wire soldered on to both the transmitter and receiver. You can see that this thing has got some really good range. And you can see in the VW send and wait functions that we're referencing each individual um, variable depending on the statement. And that's important that we label those variables uniquely to get those two um, statements. Now over to the receive sketch, we're picking up the VW get message in the beginning of the if conditional statement. And that's from the transmit sketch. So that VW get message is trying to pick up the transmit messages that we just looked at. And if we get those, we're going to print them. You can see that the char uh, data type there with the asterisk. And we're going to print that to our screen and clear the screen um, in our main loop here. Else, if we do not get the message from the transmitter, what we've got here in the else if uh, part of the conditional is a Boolean not operator, the exclamation mark. So we're just putting that in front of the VW get message function. Else, if the VW get message is not happening, again the boolean operator not then we're going to print out out of range hey you guys thanks for watching subscribe to my channel and we'll see you more for microcontroller projects stay tuned